G'day guys. Well, I'm super excited about tonight. Tonight, we're going to start imaging, or should I say, finish imaging the Great Orion Nebula. Now, I've been quietly accumulating data on the Great Orion Nebula in some of my other videos. However, I haven't really been showing my image. Uh, I think it's the Tarantula Nebula I've been uh, imaging and then switching across to Orion later on in the night because it does tend to rise around about that midnight um, sort of region for me to be able to image from the backyard here because of the height of the trees and everything like that. This is an absolute dream come true for me because, all right, we're photographing Orion. Orion is just a spectacular target to photograph. Everyone loves photographing Orion. It's, it's plain and simple. It's beautiful. However, the reason it's a dream for me is... Let's go back almost 12 months when I first really had the Rasses, the twin Rasses set up because I was wanting to shoot these huge panos um, and I was basically shooting two RGB images side by side and then shooting two panels a night. However, whenever I did a Meridian flip, that would end up reversing. So essentially it would be three panels, but the middle panel would end up getting the most amount of data and it just didn't even out. Hopefully you, uh, <laughs> you, you kept, you've caught up with me or kept up with me there. Um, but over the duration of this time and this channel and me posting videos, um, you've probably seen the evolution of the, the twins, how it's gone from twin RGB cameras to a single RGB and a monochrome capture in, in HA. And all I've been doing is concentrating on one area and then moving to the next if I was going to shoot a, a mosaic, which I've also tested out on this channel too with my uh, Lagoon and Trifford mosaic and, uh, and maybe my Karina. I think I did that too. So my dream is to capture the Orion, or the constellation of Orion in as much sort of detail as I can, um, which makes me happy. Uh, I could just use a... a you know, an 85 millimeter lens or, uh, you know, 135 millimeter lens or something like that and capture it in less panels. But I like the challenge. I like that deep space, um, capturing those smaller seg segments and joining them together um, to get an even more detailed image overall. So tonight is the night we uh, finish up the data on Orion before moving to the next panel. Now, let me know in the comments whether I should move to the left of Orion and start heading away from the horse head or to the right of Orion and start heading towards the horse head nebula. I'm sort of drifting off towards the horse head nebula, but we'll see with the mosaic on um, exactly how I plan on, on shooting it overall. Anyway, it's a little bit breezy. Hopefully that dies down. I'm not sure. I haven't even really checked that out. But uh, we best get setting up while I still have some daylight. Now, if this is the first time you've ever been watching one of my videos, uh, let me just run through what we've got going on here. I run a uh, Celestron CGXL mount, which I absolutely really enjoy using especially with the CPWI software um, I feel it's a, it's a great combination also run twin slash run RASA 8s um, and on the front I've got uh, ZWASI 294 MC color and MM mono now the mono runs a astronomic uh, 6 NM HA max FR filter it's a bit of a mouthful and on my color I run a um, UVIR Astronomic L1 um, cut filter. The computer itself is a uh, Prima Luce Lab uh, Eagle 4 um, computer. It's not the pro version, it's not the middle version, it's the entry version and it does a great job. I absolutely love um, being able to wirelessly um, log into my system uh, using my iPad or laptop and uh, be able to monitor and control the, uh, the telescopes. Um, I also got a Prima Luce Echo as well to help monitor the dew heating um, if the dew conditions uh, 
arise. Now on the back end I have my two ZWO um, electronic focuses complete with uh, temperature probes and my William Optics uh, uni guide um, guide scope and my QHY 5485 uh, camera. I've also got my Prima Loose Lab um, mounting plates on top and the reason for that is to uh, get a better GPS uh, reading um, from my Eagle 4 computer as well as uh, an even better Wi-Fi um, coverage because uh, previously or as the evolution of the rest of the twins have gone um, this uh, computer here was mounted underneath so having it up top um, just makes things easier to get to if need to and uh, and it's much better if I want to just shoot with the one brasser I can just take it out and it's all set up uh, ready to go now on this side you may be thinking that it's a little bit unbalanced well it's it's not because things are slightly uh, adjusted however there are plans for this side and I'm pretty sure these guys who are regular uh, viewers of my channel would know probably what's going to go up on here but I'll let you uh, try and work that out and let me know in the comments below. Well, all we need to do now is wait for it to get a little bit darker. Definitely no clouds around. It's, it could be a very nice night, we'll see. Again, I haven't even checked the forecast to see if wind's gonna pop up. But at the moment, really nice conditions, so I'm super excited about capturing the last bit of data for the first panel of my Orion project. Okay, so now it begins. I've just finished taking some uh, data on the LMC. In fact, uh, a second panel um, that I do plan on joining to a first panel, but that be for another video on another night. Um, Orion has risen enough now. It's just gone past midnight and it is time to get these two imaging and try and capture as much data as I can so that way we can finalize this final image of M42 the Great Orion Nebula and begin my mosaic and I cannot wait to show you guys the final image providing we get some decent data on tonight as well to add to it hmm. <laughs> anyway we're gonna get imaging so uh, yeah I'll probably report back to you as early hours of the morning You may be wondering why there's only one rasa here and not two rasas. That's because we're about four weeks on from when I finished that last recording. And uh, the reason for that is this, right here. On that night, I had an issue and that was one of these plates here. It wasn't quite locked in properly when it was tightened up as much as it could. But as the telescope slewed, and the weight slowly um, started tilting in. So therefore my RGB image wasn't in line with my mono image. And, uh, and that meant there went a whole bunch of RGB data because I just, I just couldn't use it to, um, to stack. It was just all over the place. Uh, so yeah, I've had to um, rebuild this dual saddle uh, plate section and I'll shoot more about that, or talk more about that, in fact, in a different video. So what have I been doing since the last uh, video of the Twins? Well, I've been continually uh, capturing data with the RGB camera on the one Rasa. Um, I really wanted to capture uh, as much good data as I possibly can to create my final image of M42, the Great Orion Nebula, in RGB and HA. Now, I've already seen the image um, put together, and this is the first panel of my huge mosaic that I am planning to shoot from the backyard. 
Now, I'm not going to get the whole thing completed at all, this mosaic. No way. It's going to take me, I'm guessing, years to complete, purely because of the focal length and the sensor size, you know, giving that such a zoomed-in sort of uh, shot per panel. Um, I could just shoot a, uh, a larger field of view with a bigger sensor and maybe a lens or something like that, and I might just do that, actually. Um, throughout so I can get a, a nice uh, whole image of um, the Barnard's Loop, Orion, the Horsehead, the Witch Nebula, um, you know, all, all those fantastic objects in, in space that we love to photograph. But this image that I'm going to be showing you soon is my greatest M42 Great Orion Nebula photograph ever. And if the rest of the panels come out looking just like this, well, I'm very excited to see what the future holds for my mosaic. And I'm going to say that my benchmark is 2,500 RGB images to stack. That is a lot of images. They're all at 15 second exposures. Now, I guarantee you, some of you might be thinking, well, why don't you just use longer exposures um, and uh, less lights to stack. Uh, purely because I really like the results I'm getting with 15 second exposures at f2. Just think of it this way, if this was an f4 uh, equivalent scope, basically you'd be looking at four times um, the exposure length. So a 15 second f2 is about a one minute or 60 second exposure at f4. Uh, so as you can see that way, you know, I'm really getting a lot of good data in 15 seconds and uh, it eliminates a lot of other things, you know, tracking issues, um, which <laughs> there's very little, but still I'm uh, getting even better stars at 15 seconds and I'm also not, um, I'm, I'm right on the borderline of blowing out the, the core of M42. And um, I am blowing out the, a little bit of the star um, colours as well in the cores, which is extremely difficult in the first place to uh, try and maintain. But this 15 second exposure allows me to not have to HDR stack um, or HDR uh, shoot um, the Great Orion Nebula uh, because of that core. And maybe some, at some point we'll go underneath some dark skies and shoot 15 second exposures there too and just see if there's any uh, any real gain or difference. All right, well, this is it. The first panel, the first journey on my mosaic. So, I'm gonna head off and I'll chat to you guys next time. But I just wanna say big shout out to my channel members. Thank you very much for your support. Also those that have um, got their uh, hands on the, the uh, 3D print file for this Rasa mask here that I've uh, made and designed. I hope that's all uh, going well for you guys. And also I just want to shout out to, uh, a big shout out to Lewis as well. Thank you so much for your, uh, your emails you sent to me. Um, I really hope that uh, your Rasa is, is up and running real soon. Alright, on that note, that's it. So until next time guys, take it easy. And I hope you enjoy my image just as much as I do. See you. Thank you.